Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up, Jamaica's Derby winning Philly Atomica makes Rybus look pedestrian as she tackles older horses for the first time. Veteran TNT jockey unsure about how much longer he will be race riding. Jamaican's Jose Pinchin and Michael Bernard collect a massive $400,000 stakes win at Florida's Gulfstream Park, where Barbadian Sappy Joseph Jr. enjoys a fourth consecutive trainer's title, plus a Fort Erie update where the Barbadian jockey Christopher Chin's husband is poised to repeat as champion there. Let's kick things off in Jamaica. For her first outing since her massive derby win in August, fans excited to see the Oak Ridge Farms filly Atomica in a 12-horse field for the I'm Satisfied Trophy run in honor of the 2000 Triple Crown winner. There's the field, Atomica the two-horse, a heavy two-to-five favorite with leading jockey Dane Dawkins aboard for trainer Gary Sabrati. The betting doesn't suggest she has any real challenges. The speedy eight horse, She's My Destiny, the second favorite at four to one, and her Jason Costa stablemate, Laura of Lucy, the 10 horse at nine to two. Let's get that race call now from Bran Rickman OD. They're off for the I'm Satisfied. DeJay's boy staggers out at the back. Atomica gets a good start with Curlin's Affair on the inside. They match stride. She's My Destiny moving up to take them on. A break back to Duke. Got a girl overtaking Duke. Laban asked to make ground. Laura of Lucy kept to the outside. A length and a half back to the pair of El Professor and Lord of Agilon. A race car will have to do late running as they leave the half mile toward the back with a money monster and DeJay's boy now making a place or two. They've left the 716th in the I'm Satisfied and Atomica the filly now takes charge up front. She's My Destiny is a half a length down and continues the attack as they go flashing past the 516th. Laban is four lengths further away with Curlin's Affair. God, a girl will have a lot to do. Atomica scraping paint at the head of the lane. She's My Destiny continues to harass all the time. Curlin's Affair is asked to run on with Laban in the orange cap but Atomica now begins to stretch her stride and Atomica now begins to go. Atomica in Inside the final furlong has opened up a lead. Can they catch Atomica? Atomica, the super filly, powered by nuclear, and it's Atomica and Dane Dawkins. Gary Sabrati and Dane Dawkins have a four timer. She's my destiny. Some seven or eight lengths back is second. How easy was that for her seventh win in eight lifetime starts? The St. Leisure loss in July to Blue Vinyl, the only blemish so far in an exciting career. One of four wins on the afternoon for the jockey trainer combination of Dane Dawkins and Gary Sabrati. Atomica, the leading horse in stakes, earned this year at 10. 6 million Jamaican dollars. Dawkins with 80 wins leads the Jockeys Championship by 7 over Anthony Thomas and this Atomica win was as easy for Dawkins as it looked to the fans. Yes, it was that easy, you know. Well, from the key part is to get a good break on our car. Over the time she running, she never gets to get a good break. This is the first time she ever breaks so good. So from I get that good break, I just all her, all her to the I leave the four and a half, I give, give her some more rain and she responded, come to the two furlong, ask her. She responded a lot, give her a couple cracks out of the left. She responded, everything I asked her to do, she responded. Atomica wins by seven and a half lengths as the odds on favorite chased by four to one bet. She's my destiny with a 51 to one outsider, DJ's boy, snatching third. Atomica clocks a stakes record one minute, 10 and four fifths of a second for the six furlong sprint. The second I'm Satisfied Trophy win this in four years for trainer Sabrati, who scored with Crimson in 2019. And Dawkins is confident the Philly can conquer older top flight horses in the upcoming late season big money grade one races. Yes, I feel so. She is very, very good enough to do that, you know. I know she's getting big, so she learned a lot of things and more experience coming to that race. To Trinidad and Tobago now where there is no racing scheduled again until the 29th of October and fans there may be wondering just for how much longer the recently unretired jockey Nobel Abrego will be riding. The Panama born Abrego here winning his sixth Trinidad and Tobago derby aboard Soka Harmony on the 24th of September. This just under two months after he had come out of a near two year retirement. The partner Soka Harmony to victory in the early August Midsummer Classic, second leg of the TNT Triple Crown Series. Now 57 years old, Abrego boasts over 1,200 career wins in the saddle, and he is right now non committal about his immediate future. Retirement for him could come again soon, depending on how he feels physically. That is this young, I don't know, you know, see my body is feeling good, feel okay. I continue. You see, I feel. Again, yeah, 
retire. They, they paint by my body feeling. Derby, congrats again to jockey Nobel Abrego on the solid career he has had in TNT. Let's move over now to Gulfstream Park in Florida, where trainer Jose Pinchin and owner Michael Bernard linked up as Jamaicans to win the My Dear Girl Stakes. He's been a champion owner in Jamaica, Michael Bernard, and his entry here atomically had a tough hurdle in the unbeaten links already with two stakes wins. The odds on favorite for this $400,000 event for two year old fillies over a mile and 16th. Atomically is perfectly poised here, just a length off the lead, which he's about to take. But the big gun, Lynx, is a close-up sixth and ready to get into high gear, watched in the combox by Peter Yellow. Into the far turn they go. In the clear now, Zayas is on the go with Lynx. She's three lengths off the lead while fifth, but gaining ground. Atomically just ran by to take the lead at the 5 16 Atomically now strides forward to a length and a half lead. Lynx in pursuit second. From between horses, time passage. Then Dorth Fader tamely backing away as dreaming in style. And here's the matchup. Atomically gets a length and a half head start on Lynx with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Dorth Vader is at the rail. Then time passage. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Three quarters 112 and four atomically finding on the front end she has three on links and time has run out it will be atomically and jockey edgar perez off a sharp maiden victory they're now my dear girl division winners and they win in style by six lengths five stakes wins this year for jockey edgar perez none as big as this even if you backed atomically to win the authority of this victory unexpected brilliant for trainer jose pinchin who part owns the filly with michael bernard in a Jamaica combo. Back-to-back -back wins, atomically two wins in three lifetime starts for this impressive filly, scoring by a widening six and three quarter lengths under jockey Edgar Perez, defeating four to five favorite links and clocking 145.35 for the eight and a half furlong run in the My Dear Girl Stakes, part of the FTBO Florida Sire Series. Still in Florida, but let's now talk Safi Joseph Jr. sewing up yet another trainer's title at Gulfstream Park. Tallying 68 wins for the season, with horses' earnings of over 2.2 million US dollars, the Barbadian captured his third consecutive Gulfstream Park Spring Summer Trainers Championship title as Caribbean men finished 1 2 Jamaican Rowan Crichton in a solid season runner up on 33 wins, with uh, Jose D'Angelo third. Currently number nine this season on the top trainers list in all of North America, Joseph has swept the last four consecutive seasonal trainers titles at Gulfstream Park. And before we go, check out Christopher Chin's husbands with one of five wins he had at Fort Erie Racetrack this week, scoring here in Tuesday's eighth race aboard 6-1 to one bet. Jack Beanstalk, owned and trained by Barbadian Desmond Maynard. Husbands now leading the jockey's title race as he aims to repeat as champion at the Ontario Racetrack inside the last two weeks now of the Fort Erie season. And Husbands with 30 wins leads Melanie Pinto by two. So that's our show, the Caribbean numbers uh, before we go. The win total down a bit since the closure of the Assiniboia down season, but 50 wins have counted for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada in the past seven days, including double wins at Century Mile for the Jamaican Dane Nelson and the Barbadian Rico Walcott. Slade Jones, the Barbadian 16-year-old, keeps winning. He had two at Woodbine. Rashawn Latchman, the Barbadian, had three wins at Charlestown. And uh, Ajaru Williams from the US Virgin Islands had three wins at Mountaineer Park. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.